And now you know it's time for Cup and Poke! Cup and Poke! Oi, oi, oi! Hello everybody, it's time for Cap and Punk. No, 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 wait, not that kind of punk. Capitalization and end punctuation. Cap and Punk, it's an abbreviation, get it? Yeah, right. What are we doing today? Great question. We're capitalizing all the proper nouns and first words from each sentence. You're going to read a little snippet of a review of Wreck-It Ralph. Remember, if a name has two or three parts, you want to capitalize them all, even if it's hyphenated, like Qui-Gon Jinn, Qui and Gon are capitalized. That's right, Star Wars fans. Proper nouns also include the names of video games, which will be important in this passage. There are 21 missing capital letters on the sheet. I want you to underline each letter that should be capitalized two times. That's my universal mark for capitalize this. Thing number two, three sentences have commas at the end instead of periods. You want to correct them both. Just draw a big dot over the top of the comma, which tells me a period should go here instead of a comma. And then part three, you want to add the proper end punctuation where necessary. All of the periods and question marks have been removed. Put them where they belong and you'll be great. Here's our section for today, a review of Wreck-It Ralph from RottenTomatoes.com. Add in all the underlined words where they go and correct your punctuation. We'll be back together in a minute with the answer. In the meantime, pause the video. Here are your answers. Everything highlighted in green is what you should have given two underlines to. We want to get Ralph and then all parts of Fix It Felix. Come down to the next line. This was the first comma you wanted to change into a period. That's why it's highlighted in yellow. After decades of doing the same thing, capitalize the A, and seeing all the glory go to Felix, capitalize. Ralph, capitalize, decides he's tired of playing the role of the bad guy, period. He, capital H, takes matters into his own massive hands and sets off on a game-hopping journey through every generation of video games to prove he's got what it takes to be a hero on his quest. Period. That was a comma. Change it to a period. He, capital H, meets Sergeant Calhoun, remember to capitalize both parts of the name, from the first-person action game Hero's Duty, which should also be capitalized. But it's the feisty misfit Vanellope von Schwitz. Capitalize, capitalize, capitalize. From the candy-coated game Sugar Rush, remember video game titles are proper nouns, capitalize, whose world is threatened when Ralph, oh, I missed one, capitalize that R. Yeah, that's right. Accidentally unleashes a deadly enemy that threatens the entire arcade. Switch that comma to a period, thanks. Will Ralph realize his dream and save the day before it's too late? Question mark. So, these are the corrections you should have. Look for the green letters. Those are the ones you need to have on your sheet. And let's grade it up. Contestants playing at home, remember there are 21 missing capital letters in today's exercise. Three commas were also changed into periods, and there was one missing period at the end of a sentence, which gives you 25 questions in all. At the top of your paper, please write a fraction, put 25 on the bottom for 25 questions, and the number you got correct on the top. And as always, thanks for playing Cap and Punk. Check out the bottom of the sheet, hint for proper nouns. You want to capitalize every single one as you write. Don't leave them in lowercase and think, I'll correct it later. Remember, this is a first grade writing standard. By the time you reach middle school, you should capitalize them without thinking. If not, you're not writing at a first grade level, and that's kind of sad. So, keep it up, work hard, and I'll see you later. Buh bye bye